these are the two car things that are going to keep you warm at a lot of Amazon. I bought two of these, one for me and her too. I think it was like last winter. I forgot I had it, which sucks. It would have been nice. Basically, it's like a fleece hoodie thing, and it covers your ears, which would have been nice during COVID because I forgot I had it. And then it also has a built-in mask, so you literally you can just use this in the store too if you want to. That's got like a built-in mask too, so it keeps your full face warm. And I just bought this beanie. Now, if you have a bigger head, you want the beanies like this to have this fold-over thing. Some are really short, you want the huge ones like this, so this is my... I only have two Carhartt things, and this is two. Actually, no, I have a blue, like, what's it called? Boonie hat? Yeah. So I have that somewhere. I had it in my car for camping, but I forgot where I put it because I cleaned my car out. But the hat's great, too. It was a little more expensive. I think it was like 40 bucks versus like the 20 for the cheap regular boonies. But I got it because it's such lightweight. Like, the, other, the regular boonie hats are just too heavy and hot. Like, so I took that camping. It was like 90 outside. It was amazing. I put that on my mission hoodie. And they're both blue, so they match pretty good. It was nice. So I'm gonna show you how this works. Uh, this it's a little small, so you have a big head. Um, I don't know if you wash it, it gets bigger, but nonetheless, this is probably good for light temperatures. Yeah, I wouldn't say like freezing, but <laughs> kind of look like an old military. It's a little small in my head, but it's only one size, and they have these in different colors too, by the way, if you want them. So. If you have a smaller head than mine, or if you're a female, this is probably fit great. But the mask is a little confusing. I'm still confused every time I put it on. And maybe it goes like this. I'm not sure which way it goes. But the fleecy would think would be on the outside, and the smooth thing would be on the inside for me. But it doesn't want to flip around, so I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's confusing, but it's also nice at the same time, so. I think that's right. Let me try it this way. No, it wants to go the other way. So I guess you would think this is the softer side and the fleece side would be on the outside, which it should be, but it doesn't want to flip around. So, I mean, not the easiest thing to put on, but but it's tangled up now, so I don't... Why would you want the fleece side on your face? You'd want the smooth side, so... It's just a little confusing to me. I don't know. Like it makes sense like this, but then why would you want the fleece side on your face? That wouldn't make sense because the fleece side is on the outside. You won't want this like smooth plastic one. But then if I flip it this way, it doesn't want to flip around. If I flip it this way, it doesn't want to flip around. So I guess that's the way you put it. So we'll try it like that. I guess and. I just wish this top part was a little bigger for your fat head, but there's only one size, so it's better than nothing, yes. So I guess you just put it on like this. And just pull up the mask. I'm not too sure. This helmet part is pretty tight. But... And you don't want to rip it because it's super small. But as you can see, it covers your full face. Oh. If you're going somewhere and need a mask for COVID, this is going to be, I can't really talk in it as you can see, as you can tell, but it's pretty tight against your face. That's the only difference. It's really tight, but if you're in cold weather, this is pretty amazing. <laughs> so the fleece part, I guess, goes against your face. It does protect your neck a little bit. And this is pretty warm. I just wish it, maybe it stretches out if you wash it. I don't wash it yet, but... I mean, it's pretty good. So there's this hat. They have these on Amazon, too. They have uh, high-vis colors, too. And this is the beanie, of course. This should probably fit no problem, because I've had beanies like this big in. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, this is nice. Nice and big Carhartt beanie. Oh, see, this is nice. I still got room, too, so... Yeah, this is going to be nice. You could essentially probably put both on. Actually, let's try that. Let's see if the beanie is good enough for both. I think once I wear it, it should stretch out a little bit. You know, I like the mask a lot. It's just super tight. And I like this a lot, but it's, it's a little small. So, putting it on a little bit, though. But, I think this would be good in freezing temperatures. 
should be definitely good in 50 and definitely 40. 30s, I don't know. If you get really cold, you could probably go like this, which you can. <laughs> you can literally put them both on. So, think about that. You can literally have the fleece hoodie on in your car and be the, and the mask on. The mask, I have a big head and neck and it still covers everything. So, you can literally put them both on, which is why I bought the hoodie or the beanie. So, if you're somewhere where it's cold and your fleece hat thing, I don't know what they call it, fleece hat, fleece liner, whatever, is not warm enough. If you have the car beanie, you could put it over the top. So either way, I'm going to be super warm up in the mountains. Whew. It's hot. That's hot even for a couple minutes in here. I have a fan on, so it's hot in here because they're guarding today, so I like to close the window because so. otherwise you get guarding fumes and grass fumes and it's loud, so that's both on, so that's really nice. Plus, obviously, I have these gloves that have these weird plastic things on the inside, so, you know, I don't think I'll have an issue. I've lived places before where the winter, some days it gets down to like 39, 38, and I've had just cheesy wool gloves like those knit ones, so these are nice. So I am literally good. I have, I don't need my vest because that's obviously not going to be warm. This is a Columbia vest, which is nice. It's got like, you know, fleece lined vest, but it's got no sleeves, so that's not going to work. But I do have, if you want good jackets, go check on Amazon, Walls Outdoor Goods. I found one at Ross for, I think, 25, 26 bucks for a jacket. And it was like a hundred and something dollar jacket online. So that was a score. Got that like three years ago. Haven't had to wear it once or very much. And then I liked it so much, but I didn't want something as heavy. Like it's a really heavy warm jacket, but it's super heavy. So they make a shirt jacket. Basically, it's like a thinner jacket with a, not as much like lining. Like the one I got, the big one's like Sherpa lined. It's really thick. And the shirt jacket is just like a flannel type of thing with a jacket. Both water resistant, which is nice. And Dickies and Walls, I think, are the same now. So it's you, you know you get good quality. But the shirt jacket was also like seventy bucks. So they're quite expensive, but they're nice. And literally the huge one, actually both of them, the gray one I have, I've literally worn it in pouring rain, like dripping hairs, dripping everything, and I'm dry on the inside, and the jacket dries pretty fast within like thirty minutes. It's dry, and it doesn't smell, and it doesn't get nasty from the waters. So, when they say that it repels water stuff, they're not joking, like, it works amazing. I was walking to Target to get something in the pouring rain, and this girl had this old Jeep, and she couldn't figure out why it wasn't working, so she was trying to talk to me, I'm like, I just kept telling her, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like, literally, there's a mechanic place down the street, and she kept saying, what about this, what about this? And I'm standing outside my car, and it's pouring rain, luckily I had the jacket on. But I didn't have, like, a car or beaner, or nothing, and it was freezing. It was, like, 45, and pouring rain, I'm like, I don't know, lady, why you can't be asking me? I tell her your car, you can't just scan it. It was an older Jeep. I'm like, you gotta take it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And she kept talking like for 10 minutes. I was like, oh my god. So, but that was a test of my jacket because it literally held up. I, my phone was literally in the pocket of the jacket and my phone didn't get wet. I didn't get wet. I took the jacket off. I was completely dry other than my head soaked in my, like my hand stuff. But great jacket. They don't sell on their website, but they sell one similar. They're like 70 bucks. But I scored. At Ross from that thing. That was like a hundred and seven dollar jacket at the time. I got it for twenty-six bucks. Like I was like and I was broke. I think I had like thirty-five dollars to my name, and that jacket came with like thirty bucks, but I'm like, I need jacket. And they were just starting to put them out. It was still like summertime and hot, but they were just starting to put jackets out, and that's what you want to score. So I scored that I had that jacket like three years later, but I don't wear it that much because it doesn't necessarily get that cold here in California. So but if I go on trips, like if I go camping, I wear it because like it gets, like, I want to think it was, like, 39 degrees outside. I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I packed that jacket. But nonetheless, for warm stuff, you can buy both these on Amazon. They have these. If you go in Carhartt, obviously, just click the box in the upper left. Don't scroll down to the list because those are all random stuff. Click on cart and make sure it's sold and shipped by Amazon, and that way you know it's real. Don't buy it from some random site. Make sure it says Amazon because if you have Prime, Amazon, you're able to return it. If you buy it from some jank company and they say, oh, sorry, you can't return it, then you're screwed. But nonetheless, this is going to be super warm. I like this nice fleece. I got a tag in there, I didn't realize. Now the, oh my god, that's been there the whole time. What? I've had this thing forever? 
and this has been in there all the time, and it hasn't stabbed me in the head. I bought these like before COVID and forgot I had them. I just now found these recently, so that's good because it literally covers everything as you can see. So it's nice because it's a mask. So if you live somewhere cold and you want to go to a store, just buy a bunch of these. It serves two purposes. You got the mask built in, and you got the helmet thing, and it covers your ears. So if you have a smaller head than mine, it'll fit no problem. Mine is a little bit tight. If they had a different size, they probably would have gone up, but they don't, nonetheless. It still works. Then not that I'll leave the beanie over it, but this is nice because my skin is really shitty. So in the cold, my skin will blister. So this is nice having this soft, like fleece against your face. And then this obviously is like protects against the wind and stuff. So just in case it gets super windy, even if it's not windy where I'm going, it's gonna be cold. But if it gets windy or breezy, I'm gonna have to wear both. But 